Greetings, and welcome to the first video on IP addressing and subnetting IPv4 addresses. Today we will demonstrate two different methods for converting dotted decimal notation to binary notation and vice versa. The first method is the divide by two method. The second and more popular is the weighted method. Both methods produce the same results, so if you grasp one better than the other, focus on that method. Let's get started. IPv4 is a 32-bit address of your network and host address. It is made up of four octets separated by periods. Each octet has a range from 0 to 255 when written down in dotted decimal notation, or DDN, as in 192, 168, 1, and 17. However, computers cannot read dotted decimal notation. They can only read two states, called binary. This section will show you how to take dotted decimal notation, or DDN, to binary format. The first octet in the above address is 192. To translate 192 to binary can be accomplished two ways. The first is the divide by 2 method, and the second is the weighted method. Let's start with the divide by 2 method. If we write out the first octet of the IP address 192, and then we divide that by 2, our answer is 96, and we have no remainder. It is very important to write down whether or not you have a remainder, as we will use this data later. Take 96, divide that by 2, you get 48, and you have no remainder. Take 48, divide that by 2, you get 24, and you have no remainder. Take 24, divide that by 2, you get 12, and you have no remainder. Take 12, divide that by 2, you get 6, and you have no remainder. Take 6, divide that by 2, you get 3, and you have no remainder. Take 3, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Now, working from the right side, or least significant bit, the LSB, to the left side, or most significant bit, the MSB, write down a 0 if no remainder, and a 1 if there is a remainder. Now take the 168 in the second octet and divide by 2 in the same manner as the first octet. Take 168, divide by 2, you get 84, and you have no remainder. You take 84, divide that by 2, you get 42, and you have no remainder. Take 42, divide that by 2, you get 21, and you have no remainder. Take 21, divide that by 2, you get 10, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 10, divide that by 2, you get 5, and you have no remainder. Take 5, divide that by 2, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, taking the remainder 0 as 0 and remainder value as a 1, you get... One zero one zero one zero zero zero. Using the one is easy. Just take one, divide that by two, you get zero, and you have a remainder of 0.5. There's no reason to go any further, as preceding zeros are irrelevant. You get zero 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 one, or just one. The last octet in the address is 17. Take 17, divide that by two, you get eight, and the remainder is 0.5. Take 8, divide that by 2, you get 4, and there's no remainder. Take 4, divide that by 2, you get 2, and there's no remainder. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and there's no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and there's a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to consider using our Cisco Adapt Prep software suite with pass guarantee. If you are currently preparing to take a Cisco certification exam or are simply looking to brush up on existing Cisco networking skills, then you have come to the right place. 
It's no secret that there are many different online solutions in the market today, but let us explain why we feel Cisco Adapt Prep is unique. Unlike other solutions, we go to great lengths to first understand your knowledge level. Traditional competitors tend to treat each learner as if they are all the same. Consider for a moment, you are someone who has been preparing for an exam for the last three months. Challenging you with trivial questions will waste your time. On the other hand, if you are brand new to a subject matter, challenging you with advanced questions will be confusing and will prevent you from learning effectively. With Adapt Prep, we first analyze your skill set on a personal level. This allows us to provide you with questions that will challenge you appropriately, allowing you to learn efficiently. At Adapt Prep, we take great pride in building your test taking confidence. Many solutions offer comprehensive testing content, however most lack the ability to understand when you are ready to take your exam and successfully pass. Understanding this principle is something Adapt Prep excels at. It does so by utilizing an earn level concept. The earn level concept is simple. When you start using Adapt Prep, your earn level will be zero. As you progress, it will continuously advance. Once your earn level reaches seven, you are ready to take your exam and pass. We are so confident you will pass your exam once your earn level reaches seven, we guarantee it. Again, we would like to thank you for your interest in our Adapt Prep software. We look forward to working with you in the future.